Alrighty then, it's time for a Jungle Aatrox game, and oh boy. Basically, the outcry of the Jungle Aatrox rework is insane. A lot of people are not happy, a lot of people are angry, and I want to address that in this video. So I'm going to be using this game mostly as a backdrop because I'm still testing him out and this game has, you know, this is the first game with his rework. I've played a few other ones with it too, so my opinion is, you know, my opinion is building and my ability to play him properly is also getting there. Anyways, I'm going to be using this video to address two things. My thoughts as of now on Jungle Aatrox and his uh, rework, mostly on Jungle, but I'll talk about, you know, Aatrox in general. And about old Aatrox, maybe a little bit. And the outcry. But for, And I'll first talk about that outcry, because it's absolutely insane. And honestly, I'm a little bit embarrassed for a few people. I won't name any. And I know some of their opinions were formed prior to the hotfix. But I don't like it. I, re I really, really don't like it when people in positions of, you know, I guess some form of authority... You know, people who have uh, channels with a lot of people who will listen to them make some really bold and hasty claims about something rather than taking in a slow and steady approach to things. You know, the new Aatrox is difficult and clunky and definitely has some issues, but to immediately start calling for some like extreme kind of uh, being very extremist with it, it's better to, you know, hold out. You know, someone better might figure something out that can change the way you think of a champion, right? That's a, uh, like, I've been proven too wrong many, many times about different champions or, you know, a cha uh, the community in general has sort of been proven wrong many, many a times. I mean, Aurelian Soul came out and everyone thought, a lot of people thought he was bad. And, you know, they just underwrote him and then, oh boy, here comes that boy Aurelian Soul. Same thing with Azir, although he did have a lot of bugs. In general, ch difficult champions take a long, longer to, you know, figure out. So, Aatrox right now needs, I would say, a week or two before a full-on opinion should be made. He has definite issues, no doubt. But, just, I've hated that some people have really, really underwritten him. In fact, there's a thread on Reddit about saying he's the worst rework right has ever made, which is such a disgusting claim, considering there has been worse reworks. Anyways, anyways... It's also really silly if you read some of the comments because some people admitted they hadn't played him and they changed their opinions once they did, ending up liking him or figuring out he can he's not as bad as they just kind of, you know, were led to think by Reddit. It's pretty silly, and again, people should take a slow and steady approach, which is what I'm doing, especially since I've been, in, you know, like I mentioned, embarrassed by a few of the champions. One of the most recent ones, and it's not, you know, too recent, but technically recent, was Kane. If you guys remember, I underwrote him a ton, and then he got buffed up a bit, and, and it turns out I really fucking liked Kane after his changes, so, or, you know, pity me, I, I denied myself a really cool champion for the longest time. Anyways... So Aatrox right now, biggest issue as a, a champion in, in, in himself is he's extremely predictable and his chasing potential is non-existent. You know, you can see here in some of the ganks I've been making that the CC is there if you get them with the CC. But it's pretty damn hard to actually do that and once people get on top of you, you kind of just, you know, die. It's really hard to get, you know, to do things in fights. And in all the games I've played of him, early game has been pretty good, even in the jungle. But then when it comes to team fights, I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to do. It feels like I want to CC people, but it's very difficult to position yourself in a way to actually make any meaningful, you know, any to get any meaningful people in your CC. But at the same time, you also kind of just die. And in fact, I've re I've been told by so many people that even after the hotfix, you know, you're super squishy. And being super squishy from the jungle is very difficult to do, or achieve, I mean, overwrite, because there's a lot of gold you need to invest just to get yourself up to be a murderous machine that it, you make your squishiness irrelevant. So I opted to try in the first game I ever played, uh, the Bruiser build, the Bruiser offensive build, taking Cinder Hulk into uh, Titanic Hydra and that kind of stuff. I regretted that. And then I still stuck with Cinder Hulk, but I started changing it to uh, Black Cleaver first, and I'm trying other things. But so far, there are some things that are just not working with Aatrox. I do not know what keystones are really good with them, because it seems most of them are rather lackluster, especially from the jungle. 
One of my friends who plays him in lane has said that so far he's had the best success with the Undying Grass, but that's mostly a laning keystone. So, in, you know, I'm, I mean, I tried uh, Arcane Comet. I've obviously tried Electrocute. I've been thinking of trying some Resolve ones because honestly, I don't really know what keystones would be best for him. And itemization is again still very clunky with him. I don't know what would be the best thing if you're gonna go, for, you know, pure bruiser, or do you want to go some kind of like uh, tank that just focuses on cooldown reduction? Cooldown reduction does seem to be one of his best, if not the best, stat to get early on. So I'm starting to gravitate towards, you know, making sure black cleaver is a must. So I think that might be the core item I should go to for. And I might even justify going Warrior because of the corner reduction, you know, instead of Cinderhook, even if it does make me squishy. It just feels really bad trying to chase people. Now, for more jungle-specific stuff, his first clear is interesting. It starts off pretty low, but then when you get more, uh, your second ability, your sustain kicks off, and then it goes low again, and then it gets back high up again and stays up. So it's a really weird loopy thingy, and you are pretty vulnerable for invasions, especially since you have to use your abilities to clear, and you have to use it precisely to maintain your health, which makes you very vulnerable to a lot of invading junglers, and especially duelists. So that's pretty iffy. Your ganking is interesting, and because at the same time it's really strong, but then really, really bad. I'm gonna go out and say that his W is probably one of the worst ganking tools in the ga game. And by by what I mean by that is it works, but in you when you stack it up to other abilities that work as well. It just kind of doesn't stack up. See, when you cast it at someone, it puts out that triangle, and it's pretty big. But in most cases, when you're ganking, you're coming at them at an angle. So it's going to be on the, on the thinner side of things, you know. So they can easily just walk away naturally from it. It is best when you do it, like, you know, from behind them. So you have this gigantic rectangle in front of them that they have to try to run through. Or you force them to try to break it through the sides, which means they, you know, don't gain much distance from you. But that, when you come from as a jungler to gank them, it's not going to be, you know, you're rarely going to get the most optimal angle to use it properly. So at most, it's not an actual uh, factor in most ganks. It does some damage, and if you force out their CC and, you're, and you have good amount of uh, range to chase them, then it can work. But in most cases, it doesn't, I haven't felt really does very much. This Q, on the other hand, especially if you're E, is pretty good until it's not. So... So the way it's been working out so far is if I want to gank someone who's really pushed out, I'll probably just kill them, right? Most any jungler will kill somebody who's super pushed out. I will probably get all my knockups on my Q. It won't be that difficult. In fact, my, my W might even work out if uh, they're really pushed out. But like I said, pretty much any jungler will, would probably score a kill in that situation. But in most cases, let's say both players are playing it safe right through the middle, or even your opponent is a little bit safer, you're going to want to try to engage it with your E for first. You know, get your Q in and use your E to position it just so you'll knock them up. Then that creates an interesting problem in that your next Q is even shorter range. So you hit them with your tip and you already use your E. So you better hope you have another E to close the gap to use the next knockup. Or that your opponent is just super slow and has no dashes or you have to burn a flash. And then you'll knock them up with your next Q, hopefully. Now, that then creates a whole nother issue because your next Q is even less range. And now you don't have an E to close the gap, or a flash probably. So it's really difficult to get all three Qs on, on most targets who are just playing it okay. And again, compared to other CC, it would probably not stack up all that well. But, it does deliver a, a pretty good payload of damage. Now, when you have your ultimate, and I didn't learn, realize this until like my second game after a, a friend pointed it out, you get movement speed, and that's pretty good. And it can help you actually hit things. But now you're kind of relying on your ultimate to gank. So it's an interesting situation in that Aatrox's ganks from the jungle are potentially pretty strong. They have good damage behind them. You have quite a bit of crowd control. It's just really hard to use that. And I don't even think that, you know, learning to use it better is going to make too much of a difference simply because W is very limited and the weird disparity in ranges between your knockups is really difficult when you're coming at your opponent from, you know, the woods. So that in itself is pretty difficult. And like I already mentioned, as a jungler, it's pretty important. I mean, atomization is pretty important, especially malleability. And that is the other issue that I don't think Aatrox really has down yet. 
or at least might have at all. It's he's it doesn't feel like a lot of the items that I was building on him were you know were spiking me up. I didn't feel any stronger buying anything except black cleaver. So I'm not too sure of what I can do to make him better. And you know, like I already mentioned, team fights in the later stages of the game were pretty haphazard because I kind of just died or flayed around doing nothing. So I feel that eventually the right Keystone Plus item choices will come out, and I'll you know I'll have a much more clear picture on on you know his team fighting. But right now, I just cannot I cannot put a solid foundation to build a good opinion on this. So. If you have your opinions on on the new Aatrox and you have been giving it an open mind and playing him after he got hot fixed and trying out more than just a couple of games like some people did. Some people only played one and called him trash and that's pretty sad. You know, give me your opinion in the comments below because he was honestly pretty fun to play up until team fights happened and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I am definitely interested in giving him a better chance, you know, a better shot. And here's what I mean, you know, I had, uh, you saw that little vein situation there. It's just pretty difficult to close the gap and use all your, uh, all your cues. And it also really does suck if you use your Q and they make a, uh, a, they do some kind of dash or something, and then the Q cooldown wears off real quickly, so you can't do the next knockup. So, it has this also weird situation in which, if you Q them with your first Q, which is the easiest one to get people in, and then they knock you about or use some short dash, that cooldown's not going to be there until, you, you know, there's, that cooldown's not going to last long enough for you to have another knockup, so you might opt to just use the next cast of your Q to make to try to reset that but not only does that so you pretty much crowd control you with quotation marks in place thus making your chase even worse but the knock up after that one has an even lesser range so you just kind of let them walk away from you again it's very iffy ganking which when it works it's really strong but when, most of the times most times it's going to be very difficult to actually deploy it so yeah he has potential, you know, he has potential and Riot, I think, will no doubt still make a few more tweaks here or there, some more quality of life changes because of the clunkiness of his Q and, in, and I would say delivering his payload. But as for now, he just, he's in a weird little limbo. Again, he definitely has jungle potential. Like, you know, it, with a few more changes or figuring out more things, I can definitely see him being a jungler. Not the best jungler, but definitely someone who you wouldn't mind having near you, you know, just, as long as the player sort of knows how to pick him or play him. So yeah, give me your opinions about him. And just to reiterate the first point I was making, you know, I am the type of person who, especially due to having played this game for a long time and seeing a lot of people being proven wrong, Reddit, the forums, and especially myself being proven wrong, I tend to take a you know slow and steady approach to things. So the only things you can you can really evaluate is you know sweeping number changes that you know those tend to be easier to evaluate. And even then, you could still be wrong. But complete total reworks, those you got to give it more time, especially something as drastic or complex as a new Aatrox. So, you know, here's hoping for the best because to be honest, you know, I it looks like they tried hard on this one. You know, they wanted a they they knew the old kit for Aatrox was too toxic and could never be properly balanced, so it had to go. It just a lot I think a lot of people's opinions are being swayed by the fact that old Aatrox became temporarily viable in this new crazy little meta of ours. And it just sort of made them forget the fact that you know what, even if he was viable at the uh, viable at that moment, doesn't necessarily mean he was actually healthy, and you know he needed to be changed. Sort of like old Evelyn, right? You know, just people forget, just people forget that old things were just terrible, and you know the reworks they're a work in progress even after being released. Either way, let me know what you think, and let me know if you enjoyed this little talk of mine. Yay! And if you liked this video, remember to give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure to hit the little bell up there somewhere so you actually get notifications to my videos because YouTube and stuff.